Hey friends, welcome to Health and Fitness Simplified. This is John Rennie. Today I want to talk about something general. It's it's something general, but something very important. The reason why I'm making this video is because I I generally meet at least one person in a week who compliments me and at the same time says that it's it's too late for them to do it or they can never give time for themselves they can never train because they believe they can never achieve accomplish their goals and i i i feel why people think in this direction negatively see it's never late it's it is absolutely never late irrespective of what age group you feel into what what age group you fall into what your physical condition is trust me even even what your physical condition is it it does not matter let's say you have a back problem or you have an injury none of this matters and it is never late don't feel if you are i i hear from even people in their 30s in their 40s in their 50s everyone talks in the same way that it's not possible now should have started earlier so it it's not true see basically don't procrastinate start today don't leave this for tomorrow don't say that i will i will make so and so changes next week or um you know let me do it next month do not procrastinate try and and start today set your goals keep keep something in mind that okay this is what i want to achieve be it fitness i mean i i'm talking here only about fitness at the moment but even if it is something else set up a, a goal that's realistic that you know is you know you give it some time let's say if we talk about fitness in general it could be weight loss or some people want to gain weight some people want to gain some muscle mass or some want to compete in in something be it anything be positive about it think that you know don't think negatively don't think that it's not possible anymore do not think that it's too late i cannot do it anymore don't feel that don't feel guilty i i feel i see a lot of women especially who feel that they feel guilty if they want to give some time for themselves it's fine everyone should give some time to themselves especially if it is for your health do give it some time maybe initially you need some professional advice don't think it's a waste if you need some professional help go ahead do it and be happy with whatever you're doing enjoy be it, let's say you want you want to gain weight or you want to lose weight or you want to gain some muscle mass you want to change a diet whatever it is that you have in your mind be happy doing it now i'm 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 not in perfect health this is coming from from me who has a back problem i have two of my discs which have collapsed they they have compressed and leaked the gel out and i have there are certain things i can do and certain things i cannot do now if i talk about my personal experience over these 38 years i'm 38 years old i have met a lot of people who have tried to put me down i started training when i was approximately 17 years old and from then on i have had a lot of people who give you negative 
comments like when i was in my teens they would say you know you would stop you're going to stop this once you do your further studies now i never stopped when i was doing my further studies i was i was still training i was training harder i had to find time for myself like, like when i was doing my masters i would wake up at 4:30 in the morning i would have a meal my gym would open at 6 i would be outside my gym at 5:45 so it's it's basically you just need dedication you you're determined that you want to do so and so and you need discipline so so if you have a goal you have dedication to do it you need to have discipline which means you you need to decide that okay this is what i'm going to do and this is how i'm going to do it you definitely there are sacrifices in it you will have like waking up early or maybe you're going to go later part of the day whenever it is you will have to plan it and once you have a discipline ensure that you are consistent give it time it's it's not magic it's not going to have happen overnight so give it try time be consistent pursue it you would definitely see results now you will have a lot of people around you trying to say that nothing's happening like when i'm when i'm on a particular diet i know i'm going to gain weight so when i gain weight i have a lot of people saying oh you gain weight you're looking fat are you i don't care just stay away from negative people you will always have these kind of negative comments trying to put you down just ignore them my personal experience has been i have i have also a broken leg my my right leg is broken i have a rod in it uh this happened to me in the year 2010 i basically broke my leg on 17th of november 2010 uh and i i was rushed to the hospital uh my surgery was uh pro- it was planned for the next day even before my surgery was done the most negative comment i got was oh you're finished all all your gym and all this is this is over now you will not be able to do again and this comment came from my own brother but i i did not care because i believed in myself i know i can do it again after my surgery my my doctor said that i will not be able to walk without crutches for 3 months i left the hospital in 3 days 17th of december 18th of december i was back in the gym so exactly after 1 month of my accident i was back in the gym i was training with my bandages i would get up with blood oozing out on the bandage i was fine cuz in in all of these negativity i met some good people as well there was a german doctor i still remember he told me that i i was quite hesitant to ask him doctor can i go to the gym he said are you crazy so when he said are you crazy i said he's going to say oh you cannot go to the gym he said are you crazy of course you should go to the gym if you want to recover faster ensure that you are back in the gym and that's what i did i was back in the gym and people would look at me in like oh this guy is unbelievable his bandages are not off and he's here i remember the doctor's words that you have a metal in your leg now there is it's stronger than what you used to have so what damage had to be done is done and we have repaired it so you won't break anything further there was a lot of pain but i continued with it and the result was i recovered faster so as i said you will have to forget all these negative people negative comments around you forget about it believe in yourself be happy what you're doing do not procrastinate start today 
if you need professional help go ahead and do it i i have seen a lot of people being hesitant in paying a personal trainer they don't want to pay for fitness but they are fine with paying the doctor well like well, like you not willing to train you don't want to be healthy you don't want to eat right but when you get diabetic when you have high blood pressure you're fine spending on it you're fine with spending even if it's not covered in the insurance because you want to live you're fine with putting stents in your heart but you're not happy paying your personal trainer so it's it's for something you can think about and forget about what someone else looks like don't have goals which is not achievable overnight like someone looks up to me i've been training for 21 years and they have not started yet and then they think this is impossible you didn't even start you need to start you need to put in effort you need to eat right you need to have rest there's so many things don't expect miracles to happen and be happy with the small achievements that you get during your initial training you would you would definitely see there will be a phase where if you are not you are someone who's not into any physical activity when you start doing something your body responds quickly and then in a matter of time you don't see any major response don't be turned off at that time because you will get results you will have to probably make some changes it it could be changes in your workout it could be changes in your eating patterns anything if you if you are going to continue doing the same you will remain the same so you will have to change something and for this if you do not have knowledge by yourself take the help of a professional like i know there are certain things which i cannot do because i have a disc issue i have a a leg which is repaired I I know that I cannot do deadlift. I love deadlifts. I miss doing them. I love doing very heavy squat, which I can't do anymore. I know I cannot do it and I will not do it. There are times where I forget that I have an issue with my back and I bend down just to tie my lace and my disc slips and I'm finished. 10 days on the bed. I can't get up. But now it's it's become a part of me. I never bend down. I squat down even if I want to pick something from the floor. I squat down. I can sit and cry about it. I can I can sit and be unhappy about it, thinking that oh I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't even bend down. Or I can move forward. In the current situation, with the pandemic going on. more or less everyone's stressed out everyone's got issues everyone's got problems and we need to try and look at something positive in that day and cling on to that rather than probably there are more negative factors going on try to forget it there could be that one nice moment in day treasure that day with that moment and be happy about it same is with it, it's similar with anything whatever you are doing in your life as i said try and ignore the negative people around you negative vibes send them off there are a lot of people struggling in 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 different ways you you can but you can still try and find something positive and move on with that with the hope that things are going to be better tomorrow now coming back to fitness if if you are just starting to train don't expect miracles do not put in goals in in your list which are not achievable in a short period it's good to have goals like a lot of us are looking at abs you want to have six pack four pack it is achievable anyone can have it anyone trust me anyone can build a good body it's only that you may not be as huge as arnold schwarzenegger because his genetics is different so don't compare stop comparing yourself to someone else 
because that person's genetic structure, muscle structure, everything would be different. You can also achieve something in your own way. So to achieve, ensure that you have a discipline and you're consistent. You will definitely achieve it. Maybe you require lesser time. Maybe you require more time. Doesn't matter. Be patient. And things will definitely work out. I, I hope this brings in something positive to all the people, all my friends who are watching. Please spread it among friends. Especially at this point of time where you know, we all we, we all need encouragement. Try and and cling on to the people who give you some positive vibes, and absolutely chuck out those people from your life who try and pull you down. That's all what I could say. I I hope this would make some difference. In, 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 in each one of us. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone. This is John Denny signing off. Masalama. Peace.